Hi Cancer and welcome to your December 2023 horoscope. 2024 is almost around the corner and I do still have a couple of spots left for year ahead readings. Uh, most of them are booked but there are still a couple left. So if you would like uh, to sit down with me and pull up your chart and talk about what the year means for you personally, then I highly suggest booking one. I'll leave the booking link down in the description box. December is quite a different month from November. In November, we had a lot of Mars energy. Uh, and in December, we have a lot of Venus energy. There are a lot of Venus transits during this month. So I suggest taking it a bit easier this month, nurturing yourself, uh, making sure you have nice and comfy environments around you, nice and comfy spaces, and that you also have your loved ones near you. On December 3rd, we have Venus in your 4th house, squaring Pluto in your 7th house. Venus has been in your 4th house for all of November, and it's been making sure that you derive comfort and pleasure and a sense of security uh, with your home. So you might have been spending a lot of time at home just because it's the thing that makes you feel the most cozy right now. And just as it's about to leave the fourth house, it has a little bit of tension with Pluto, a little bit of a tense conversation with Pluto. And it might be bringing up any limiting beliefs that you have around your partnerships. Perhaps by spending a lot of time at home, uh, it has highlighted to you some limiting beliefs you have about your partner and uh, where they fit in that whole scenario. Then Venus enters your fifth house. Having entered a new house, you'll find that the things that you derive security and that cozy feeling from are now different. So now you derive more comfort and security by being more playful, by doing things that used to bring you a lot of joy as a child, maybe even doing some more creative things. On December 5th, Venus trines Saturn. And because this is a nice and easy aspect with Saturn, I recommend using uh, your matureness, your work ethic to really help this transition. Perhaps you do it by getting super organized, uh, putting together a shopping list, and going to the arts and crafts store to uh, buy all of the materials that you need for a super creative month. On December 10th, Venus continues traveling uh, through your fifth house, and finally on December 10th, it opposes Jupiter in your 11th house. So you want to spend time uh, being creative, having fun, but at the same time, you're receiving some amazing opportunities from your network that are really helping you advance towards uh, all of these goals that you have for yourself. So on this day, you might really feel a pull between staying in the now, doing things that are pleasurable versus uh, thinking about the future and taking every opportunity that comes your way. As I always say, neither is better than the other. It's just about finding a balance. On the 13th, we have a new moon in Sagittarius in your 6th house. The sun and the moon are trining the north node in your 10th house and squaring Neptune in your 9th house. A new moon symbolizes a beginning. And for you, this new start, new beginning is in regards to your habits and your routine. To help with this transition, uh, take a look at your career. Take a look at how the things that you're learning there can perhaps help you in setting up habits or routines uh, that are actually good for you. There might be a tendency to want to escape, um, to want to float in space and sit and dream about uh, travel, about all the nice experiences you could be having, about the things that you could be reading or or the things that you could be learning about. Uh, I would recommend though, um, during this new moon, not to get too sidetracked with that. And this want to escape could continue to get stronger and stronger up until December 17th. It's on this day that the square between Sun and Neptune is at 
it's exact. On December 21st, Venus in your 5th house opposes Uranus in your 11th house. So you spent all of December really enjoying and finding comfort in playfulness and creativity. But for the last couple of years, you've also been really finding your own way in regards to your future. You've really been establishing a vision, um, a future path for yourself that's not influenced by society. That is something that you truly want for yourself. So it might feel like on this day you are sort of at a, at a cross ends between you know do you spend time in in the day in the here and now um, enjoying and doing activities that uh, bring you a lot of pleasure or do you spend more time pursuing these goals and working towards these future vision that you have for yourself On December 22nd, the sun enters your seventh house. And just as it does that, on December 24th, it sextiles Saturn in your ninth house. So the sun entering a new house means that the things that used to make you feel alive in November, or also in the beginning of December, are no longer the same. So from December 22 onwards, you get this feeling of aliveness, this feeling of vitality by spending time with your loved ones. Because as it enters uh, the seventh house, Saturn has uh, a positive aspect to Sun. I would recommend using your work ethic, using your organizational skills to really help with this transition. On December 25th, we have Venus in your 5th house, trining Neptune in your ninth house. I told you there was going to be a lot of Venus transits, uh, but I do think that December 25th is a sort of beautiful accumulation of all of the Venus transits. If you have really stepped into these Venetian um, comforts, if you have really stepped into your creativity this month, then on December 25th, you might be able to fully relax and allow your intuition to reveal to you uh, a part of your identity, to reveal to you the things that you believe in, uh, the belief systems that make up who you are. Tough luck, babe. Struck out when you have about 30 chances. On December 27th, we have a full moon in Cancer. So the sun is in your seventh house and the moon is in your first house. During this full moon, we have a trine to Jupiter in your 11th house. So overall, I think this is a really positive full moon. A full moon represents a revealing of information, maybe a piece of information that you didn't know before. And it might have something to do with your partnerships. It might be something that's asking you to really step into your own individuality. Your emotions during this full moon might be pulling you to uh, be your own individual, stand strong and independent. And your ego is really asking you to spend time with other human beings and be in relationship. So it could be a bit of a balance that you need to find on this day. I would suggest during this full moon to refer back to your future vision of yourself. All of the wonderful goals that you've been setting, the wonderful opportunities you've been getting uh, to really help you find this balance. If something doesn't align with where you want to be in the next five to 10 years, then that's probably not the action that you want to take. And finally, we close off the month on December 28th with both a Mars and a Venus transit. Mars in your sixth house is squaring Neptune in your ninth house. And Venus in your fifth is sextiling Pluto in your seventh. You might have, whether you liked it or not, putting in a lot of effort in your routine. Uh, a lot of your time and energy might have been going there during this month. 
However, since December 25th, you may have been slowly feel, feeling an intuitive pull to surrender yourself to more experiences, to surrender yourself to really living and expanding your horizons, to learning and traveling and meeting new people. You know, you spent the whole month being playful and creative and you spent this month learning also about what it means to be in relationship. So allow yourself all of the learnings that you've had from those two areas to really help you find the balance between surrender and action. So Cancer, if you ever wanted to get creative and have fun, December is the month for you. I highly recommend it during this month. Um, and if you're curious what I would recommend for the rest of 2024, uh, whether you should spend more time being creative or spend time on your relationships or your career, um, then you can find that out. Uh, my books are open. You can book a year ahead reading with me. It's a full hour where we'll look at your personal chart and talk about uh, what the year has in store for you. I'll leave the booking link down in the description box if that's something for you. Thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this horoscope, Cancer. Have a great December and I hope to see you again soon.